Well, housing is going to form a significant part of next week's budget as Labor looks to safeguard its commitment to building more than one million new homes by the end of the decade. One of the big announcements today is a free apprenticeship program for students who want to work in the construction sector and that's in a bid to address those concerning labour shortages. Joining me live now is the Housing Minister, Julie Collins. Julie, at this point, are you still going to meet that target? Look, we're doing everything we can do, uh, Laura. We're working right across government, working with other tiers of government, working with the sector and with the industry to make sure that we're doing everything we can do. It's an ambitious target, but we need to be ambitious. We need to build more homes for Australians. Mm. And today was about more tradies to build more homes. How many have you built today? We've built over 5,000 homes to date. We've obviously now just uh, had the first tender round of our Housing Australia Future Fund. Uh, we're talking about, though, uh, 1.2 million homes from 1 July, this national target that we have, and we're working with other tiers of government, as I've said, with state and local governments, mm. uh, with industry and with the sector, to build these homes right across Australia. We know we need more homes, and it's an ambitious target, but we need to be ambitious. Are you looking at modular homes? Uh, we're looking at all sorts of homes. Uh, certainly uh, the industry minister is looking at alternative methods of construction. Modular homes are already being built today. Certainly uh, in Queensland and Western Australia I've seen some of those modular homes being built. Uh, they're particularly useful in regional Australia and put, getting homes on the ground there. Uh, so we're looking at everything we need to do. So we're looking at skills, we're looking at alternative methods mm. of construction. We've obviously got the states and territories doing planning and zoning reforms. Uh, we're working right Right across governments at all tiers to do what we can do to deliver yeah. more homes for Australia as quickly as we can. I mean that you need the states on board and they are on the target but none of the premiers seem to be at all optimistic that they're going to reach their targets but you seem to be. Well, what I can say to you, Laura, is, is that unless we have an ambitious target, unless we have every tier of government with their shoulder to the wheel, mm. unless we have the sector with their shoulder to the wheel and have all of us heading in the same direction, we won't. But for okay. the first time in a long time, we've got all of those things and we've got everybody heading in the same direction. And that is important. But also importantly, we've now committed more than $25 billion in new investments since mm. we've come to office over the next decade to support what the states and territories are doing and the additional investments that states okay. and territories are making. We all need to lift. We all need to work together. It is ambitious target, but we need to be ambitious. And it starts from 1 July for five years. Over that five years, we will be working as hard as we can to build as many homes as quickly as we can. How big is the rental assistance increase going to be? Oh, look, Laura, what you saw from us in the last budget was, of course, a, a, an increase in the Commonwealth rent assistance. Uh, what we're looking for in this budget, obviously, is to provide cost of living support. That starts, of course, with the tax cuts for every working Australian. More than 13 million Australians will be getting relief, cost of living relief through tax cuts in the budget. As we've clearly said, we're looking right across government. We're looking at skills. We're looking at industry. We're looking right across government in terms of what else do we need to do to meet our ambition to build more homes for Australians that need them? So should we expect a significant increase in the rental assistance? Uh, look, Laura, uh, we've made an announcement today about skills. We're not making any more today about housing, but what I can say to oh. you is we're working like right across government. Sounds like you're confirming it to me. We want to build as many homes as quickly as we can. Uh, what we are doing is, is we are building as many homes okay. as quickly as we can. What we know will put downward pressure on rents is more supply. We need more homes, yeah. homes of every type, more homes for Australians that need them, more homes for renters, more homes for people to buy. Yeah, 5,000 of 1.2 million. There is a long way to go. Before I let you go, Julie Collins, can I ask you about a, an upcoming documentary that we've got here that Josh Frydenberg is, is hosting? Um, and he's spoken to Dennis Richardson who says the chant river to the sea is particularly violent and has no place. Do you agree? Uh, look, what we need is a cohesive society. We need everybody. Uh, we don't need any anti-Semitism. We don't need any Islamophobia. What we need is Australians working together in the best interests of our nation, and that's what I want to see, Laura. What about that chant in particular, though? 
Uh, look, uh, I, I'm not going to make uh, any comment on that. What we need to do is, is we need to bring, be bringing people together. Uh, we need to be all be uh, tolerant of each other's views and be working together as a community. What we need at Australia in this time is social cohesion.